your hair, your coloring, those things. Very, very nice. Uh, I, I feel we'll open one of the flaps of the thing. I did already. I'll do it again. Keep it open. Maybe. Right. George, are we going? Ninth Street between fifth and sixth. We can't go together. These are messages. That's wonderful. Go ahead. From your fans on Facebook. I stapled them. Yep, I'm shooting. You are? <laughs> yes, I am. So here they are. Oh my goodness. And if you want to just shout out a couple and some of the names, that's fine. And um, that's really about it. You can my read name them on the is play. Ali Chatur or Chatur. I live in Toronto. I'm 14 years old. I've been a huge Chloris fan since I saw her in a Malcolm in the Middle. Since then, I've gone way past my time and watched her on Mary Tyler Moore show, The Last Picture Show, Spanglish, and most recently, Dancing with the Stars. Every time she blew me away with her amazing skill, my question for her is, how does it feel to be an actress in Hollywood? Love you, thanks. It feels very good to be an actress in Hollywood. <laughs> or anywhere. Oh, thank you, darling. Bob Creases, I'm compelled to tell you that I love your movies. One of my favorites is the old Disney movie, Herbie Goes Bananas. <laughs> Can you relay any fond memory from Herbie Goes Bananas, and how does it compare to working on your current film, The Fields? How has the movie business changed over the years? You don't really want to know how the movie business has changed. I'm very excited to see the movie Fields. From what I've seen, it's going to be wonderful. I wish this movie all the best. Good luck, your friends from Love Bugs Central. Hmm. Well, let's see. I don't remember anything except being in Mexico. No, yeah, Mexico with uh, Harvey Corman, and uh, we had a lot of fun together. <laughs> Hi, Cloris. I was a costume assistant, Mary Egan Orens, on the fields, and it was an honor to work with you and sew for you. I'd love to know, after all these years in the business, what project has been your absolute favorite and your absolute worst. How do you know when you are choosing a project if it's going to work out in the end and produce something great? Can't wit. Can't wait to see the feels. The clips look as amazing as they sounded from wardrobe. Isn't that exciting? Well, I'm, I'm thrilled to be in this movie. I, I loved every minute of it. I loved the place where we were. It was Kunkeltown, Pennsylvania. They found a house that was perfect. And all these cornfields in the back, just perfect. And the house had a a way you could climb on something and climb up something more and then finally you got up on the roof and you went this way and that way and finally there was a little boy's window. It was wonderful. I don't know, absolute worst and favorite, they're all good. They're all good. That's fine. <laughs> Suspense thrillers. Oh, this is from Carl Smith. Just want to see Jude? Yeah. Suspense thrillers, horror movies, and the like have always been based upon feeding our fears or phobias. We have fears of spiders, arachnophobia. Jaws, I thought it said Jews, give us fear of sharks. <laughs> Jaws, <laughs> Jaws gives us fear of sharks. Silacophobia. And even in your movie, Young Frankenstein, the horses, <laughs> the horses displayed nomatophobia. That's a fear of names. When Frel Blucher's name was uttered out loud, well, I'll tell you, Mel Brooks a few years ago told me that Blucher in Yiddish means glue, so the horses are all afraid they're going to be sent to the glue factory. I didn't know that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I find no word that means fear of corn or fear of fields. In the trailer for the fields, your character tells the young lad to stay out of those goddamn cornfields, lending me to believe that I should be afraid of the fields. Since there isn't currently a word that translates to fear of fields, would you give it one? You shouldn't have a fear of fields. You should have a fear of your grandmother. From Jim Sutherland, love your work, of course. What I would like to know is what factors went into your decision to do this movie. I read the script. Wonderful writing. Wonderful part. Diane Williams, I loved watching Cloris Leachman on Dancing with the Stars. I'd like to know how, if at all, the experience has affected her acting career. <laughs> And does she like to dance for her own pleasure now? Thanks. Well, I had a knee replacement last December, so um, I'm not dancing. Uh, let's see. What's the, what do you want to know? If the experience has affected my acting career? Uh, I, do, I don't know. We'll have to find out. I don't think so. I don't know why. Well, it's probably helped it, if, if anything. My name is Stephen Parker, and I live in a small rural town, Sullivan, in the state of New Hampshire. Cloris, it's a privilege to have this opportunity to thank you for your contribution to the performing arts. 
your eclectic, limitless range woo, epitomizes and underscores the term gifted. From the offbeat film noir of Kiss Me Deadly, the passionately plaintive profundity of the last picture show, to a cavalcade of comedic capering on the smaller screen in my living room. You are a veritable sibyl, a sibyl of the silver screen, capable of craftsmanship which conjures a relentless roster of roles and personalities which run the gamut of the human psyche. Whew. I'm curious what your perspective is on reincarnation and whether or not you could ever consider the possibility that your professional prowess was developed prior to this lifetime. No, I think when you're dead, you're dead. Professional prowess developed prior to this lifetime. I don't think so. I think it's one life and you're born and you die. Yeah. Aubrey Nicole. You're a wonderful actress, of course, so very funny and bring a smile to my face in every movie you're in. I'm so glad you're doing this movie. I've watched all the U YouTube videos. This looks awesome. You can improv so well. Your voice can go low and be funny as well as scary. It catches my attention in this movie like it did in Spanglish when you're talking to Taya about her husband when you say desperate and dumb. You are a wonderful talent, deserved that Oscar. The end scene was great, inspiring me because it had so much feeling. It made me want to go into drama and give it all I had, and I have and I did. Isn't that wonderful? You are, of course, one of my idols. You are funny, smart, and keep a trucking, as they say. You go, girl. Good luck with this movie. I signed the petition as well for this movie. Hope it helps, and hope you guys like my music. Another discussion topic, Aubrey Nicole. Joey. Thank you so much for all your help. This thrill, it really does mean a lot to us because this is growing by leaps and bounds and what you've done is stupendo. Thank you, that's Italian, I know. Oh, I've been a fan of your, this is from Janet Weebler, Wollaber, Wollaber, anyway. I have been a fan of yours since you were Phyllis in the Mary Tyler Moore Show. When I heard last year you were filming a movie only a few miles from my home, I was so very excited. But I had missed you. That made me so very sad. I try to watch you anytime I hear you on TV. I even have the movie Beer Fest. Oh, God. <laughs> that you were in. My hubby loves that movie. <laughs> I'm very honored to be able to be a part of the field street team and to be able to help, help get this movie nationwide. I've been following you on Twitter since last year how about giving to Mama Bear a follow back, please? Can't wait to see the Fields movie in its entirety and someday maybe get to meet you. What a wonderful day that will be. Have a picture of me so when you can see what I look like. Here's what she looks like. Isn't it cute? Very nice. I am 50 years young. I also have attached a picture of you. I hope you'll sign it for me or send me an autograph. That would be the best ever. Love you, Cloris. A huge and longtime fan. Janet. Wheel, Wilbur? Wobbler. Wobbler. <laughs> you think so? Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Thank you.